Hello, here's Jane Goodall, and once again, Martine the Swift Lady has reminded me that it's World Swift Day. I'm speaking to you from a little town called Kutki, Kuchi, or Kuchi, in Austria near Salzburg. And here are swifts flying above me, snatching spring insects from the air. It's been raining and now there are just fluffy grey and white clouds scattered across the blue sky. Since Martine began bringing together swift lovers from around the world, more and more people have become aware of these extraordinary little birds who spend most of their lives on the wing, only landing on solid ground during nesting time. Here in Kuchi, most of the houses are old and there are spaces under the eaves that are suitable for the swifts to nest. But because modern houses are usually built without such places, and so many old buildings are torn down, there are fewer and fewer places where swifts can nest. But Martine tells me that architects are now calling her and asking her to explain how to create suitable spaces for swifts to nest in the new houses. And of course, it's also possible for us to provide nesting boxes for the swifts to avert their housing crisis. Lots of roots and shoots groups are involved in doing this. In addition to the problem of nest sites, swifts face many other problems, including habitat loss, as well as climate change, exploitation of caves for mining, severe droughts, and even in one place the introduction of a snake, an exotic species to which the swift has not so far learned to recognize as an enemy. So thanks to everyone who is helping to understand and protect these amazing little birds and to monitor their migration and their numbers. And that includes many of our Roots and Chutes groups. For those of you reading this who don't know anything about swifts, look them up. They really are extraordinary little birds and long lived too. And maybe you can help by providing a nesting place for swifts in your area. So to everyone, happy World Swift Day and welcome little swifts after your long journey from your feeding grounds.